What's up guys, Alex Chasen back here with a brand new video. Hopefully a great day for that area that's on this world. And today's video is going to be, I'm going to be talking about the rise. The real rise of Jeremy Lin and then the... <laughs> the fall of Jeremy Lin. From where he was, to what he became, to where he is now. Hopefully you guys do enjoy this video. Don't forget to subscribe. See that thing right here? Yeah. Don't forget to subscribe. Please drop a thumbs up. Thank you for the support. Let's get it started. So the NBA offseason happened. Jeremy Lin is coming off an NBA championship. Played a solid five seconds. Let's roll the tape of his fantastic NBA Finals performance. Here you go. <laughs> Absolutely tremendous, put his heart and soul onto that court, held that trophy with so much passion and dedication of that hard work. On the For real though, he did put in a lot of hard work to get to where he is. I'm not trying to like belittle Jeremy Lin, I'm just making a little bit of a joke here as we go along with this video. So he, he did get an NBA championship, congrats Jeremy Lin. You came from a lot, a lot, you know, you were the first Asian basketball player to win an NBA championship. That's good for you, congrats. But I'm going to keep going here with my story. Wins the NBA championship, 2019 free agency starts. Doesn't get a phone call from any NBA teams. He's just sitting there waiting for his phone to ring. Nada, nothing happens, right? And then the Beijing Shangdong Ducks call him a few days ago. Jeremy Lin still does not, has not gotten a phone call. NBA free agency has happened and gone with. It's long gone by now. It's almost September 1st. The week start the NBA season starts in like a month or two. Still hasn't got a call. So the Beijing Ducks call. And this man, Jeremy Lin, is out of the NBA. Signs a deal with the Beijing Ducks. Beijing Shanghai Ducks to be specific. And here is Jeremy Lin's tweet. I'm gonna put it up on the screen somewhere as I read along. And thanks to the NBA and everyone who supported me the last nine years. We'll always cherish being able to rep Asia. Asians at the NBA level. Excited to take the next step with the Beijing Ducks. Excited to make more history. Congrats, little bro, and signing your contract extension on the same day. I'm not sure if his little brother is on the same team as Journey Lin, but either way, that's cool how his brother's also playing professional basketball. And I'm not trying to be little Jeremy Lin here, because I'm about to give you a major compliment, Jeremy Lin. If you don't average 50 in China, you don't deserve to come back to the NBA, or at least something tremendous, because after the NBA, yes, the Chinese League, the CBA, is the next is like the next tier down but it's like a lot of tiers down so i expect jeremy lin to be a superstar in that league and become a hall of famer in the chinese basketball association now let's go over jeremy lin's career from the stardom of lin sanity to where he ended up to now on the beijing ducks so jeremy lin actually played about 45 minutes from where i live at harvard university Congrats to him for getting into Harvard because obviously he's a super smart guy and also really good at basketball. So that's a good mix. So even someday he's not going to play basketball anymore. He still has a really good chance of doing something really very technical or something with the brain he got upstairs because he went to Harvard. You got to be really, really smart to get into Harvard. But that's besides the point. On his NBA career, well, it started off by going on draft in the 2010 NBA draft. Jeremy Lin thought his career was done. Nope, you get a phone call from the Golden State Warriors. Hey, Jeremy Lin, we think Steph Curry's gonna suck. Hey, you wanna come down and do that 2010 draft? You know, we didn't draft you or anything, but you know what? We think Steph Curry's gonna be a bad point guard. You wanna come play in our, uh, get in our camp and you'll maybe play in our D League. It was the D League at the time. And Jeremy Lin, yeah, Jeremy, Jeremy Lin says, yeah. On the season, he averaged 2.6 points. And um, yeah, that's it. He only played 29 games in the season, which is pretty good for an undrafted rookie who pl mostly played in the D League. Not a bad gig. And then this is where Lin Sanity happened. Let's just roll a few clips of Lin Sanity, and then I'll be right back. 
Mike D'Antoni won't call timeout and let the Raptors set up their D. The crowd on its feet here at the Air Canada Center. Lynn puts it up. Bang! Jeremy Lynn from downtown. And the Knicks take the lead. Lynn puts it up. Puts it in. Shining. Knocks it down at three quarter. Lynn for three. Bang! Shot into the goal. 16 points for Lynn. Knocks it down and a foul. They put a body that time. Lynn likes the open floor. Spinning puts it up and backs it in. Yes. Sensational play for Jeremy Lynn. Drive gets inside. Backs it in. Wow. The Jeremy Lynn show continues here at Madison Square Garden. Watch him. Puts up the two pointer. Puts it in. Oh. Jeremy Lynn with 31. Three and a half. Lynn on the drive. Backs it in. Continues to pour it on against the Lakers. A career high 34 points. Again, knocks it down. A two pointer for Jeremy Lin. Sanity continues here at Madison Square Garden as the undrafted point guard from Harvard electrifies. The man had his moments in New York, right? He averaged 14.6 points on 50% shooting basically from the two point area. And then for the three point line, 32% from three. Those are some high level scoring stat numbers right there. And he played 35 games. Yes, that's not all 82, but he averaged 14.6 points. We'll just say 15 points. You go from two points a game to 15 points a game, playing almost around the same games. Let's say, let's go to the minutes. Minutes per game, he bumped it up from 10 to 27. That was not even per 36. If he went up to per 36, started playing star level minutes, he could have been averaging 20 points a game. That's nuts. And then he averaged around 13.4 points a game in Houston, and then 12.5 again in Houston. And then Lansinity pops off again, going to LA, where he met up with Kobe. This is his real last stint of a team giving him a crazy, super good opportunity. And Lynn Sanity, well, we had a few good moments with Kobe, and here's one of them. And Lynn will direct traffic. Clippers going crazy, wanted to travel right there on Boozer. Shot clock at six. Kobe pointing, now setting the screen. Shot clock at two. Lynn has to heave and oh, wow. buries it. Line with a chance to tie as we take another look at yeah. Lynn's shot. Always better player going to the right, but that. Is some kind Kobe's not one to not like getting the ball passed to him, but Kobe, you get what you get. You don't pass to other people. Lynn Sanity's not going to pass the ball back to you. He goes to the Lakers, averaged 11.2 points a game, which is honestly not bad, but not great. He only played 74 games that season, which is most of the season. He played 25 minutes a game, so not bad for starting caliber point guard. That's not bad, you know? And then the next season, he gets... Move to Charlotte, 11.7 points a game. So he's sticking around that 13 to 11 points a game, and then he pops off. He feels like he gets a solidified spot on a team, the Brooklyn Nets. He signs a contract there, 14.5 points a game. He goes another season, and then Jeremy Lin has his best season of his career. 18 points a game, but he only played one game. Let's roll the injury of Jeremy Lin. We all th I thought his career was over, honestly. He seemed so de devastated when this injury happened. I didn't think he'd be coming back anytime soon, but he came back and now he's an NBA champion. Let's roll the footage of the injury. It's not too graphic, I'm sure, if you don't like the graphic type of injuries like the Gordon Hayward one. That one was disgusting. I couldn't even control that one. I don't even care about injuries. Like that, that stuff doesn't really bother me, but that one was nasty. This one's pretty non-contact. It just kind of, it's very sad to watch. Here's Jeremy Lin's injury and just went down and immediately knew something was wrong. Did not accept help from his teammates. And then the instant reaction from Lynn as he looked towards the next bench. And you could almost see as he goes up here when he's coming down, he'll grab his right knee there. When he he's just kind of like, like he knows his knee just blew up. And he's kind of like, I'm done. And he just starts crying. That's really upsetting. And then he comes back the year after and he puts up 9.6 points a game. Not bad, but you can tell he's on the decline. And then he, uh, next year at Atlanta, we all thought 
Uh, at least I thought he'd be their backup point guard for many years. He put up 10.7 points a game. And then he goes to Toronto, Toronto Raptors. He only plays 23 games, kind of like a bench warmer. Still got a ring to put on that finger, though. Seven points a game. Last season didn't really matter for Jeremy Lin. You could kind of tell he was on his way out of the NBA, but I still thought he had a spot on some team. But if there was a season that was going to push him out of the league, this was it. He only played 23 games, seven points a game. There are the guys in this league who are really fighting for a spot that can play backup minutes and do more than seven, seven points a game on 20 minutes. There's guys like Shane Larkin who would love to come back to the NBA that could put up around 10 points a game in 20 minutes. There's guys like Dwight Boykes or something. I, I, it's kind of like how his name, I, I can't pronounce his last name. He put up around 10 points a game in 20 minutes. There's other guys that are on a lower tier than Jeremy Lin's level of what you call fame, I guess, that could produce better than Jeremy Lin. So it's not super surprising he got knocked out of the league. But it's kind of saddening that this guy could never really find the right footing on a team and really progress. I thought it was going to be Brooklyn when he had that first really good year. And then the next year, he came in and really did good. But halfway through the game, you know, he blew up his knee and was out for the rest of the season, which is super sad. He played on a total of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine different NBA teams in just nine different NBA seasons. Wow. That means he couldn't really stick on a T. Wait, that's not right. He played nine years, but one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll be right back. Oh, I see what I messed up on. So the year where he played for the Atlanta Hawks and the Toronto Raptors, yeah, that was all one year. So I kind of messed up on that. My bad, guys. So that's why I only played nine seasons. But in nine years, he played on, we'll go through it again just to double check. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, he played on nine different teams in nine different years. This guy just couldn't find a solidified team to stay on. Maybe the Knicks should have gave him more time, but then they got rid of him real fast. Maybe Houston should have gave him more time, but they only lasted two years. Maybe the Lakers should have gave him more time, but they got him out of there. Maybe Charlotte should have gave him more time, but then they got rid of him. Maybe Brooklyn should have gave him more time, but then they got out of there. Maybe Toronto should have gave him more time. They got out of there. Maybe Atlanta should have gave him more time. But they got him out of there. This is kind of upsetting, honestly, because I didn't really think about it this too much depth before. But this guy never really got a fair shot to show what Jeremy Lin can do at an NBA level. That's tough, you know? That's, I feel like Alfred Payton's on the same track. Obviously, he does not have nearly the same amount of hype. He's had a different coach. It's every single NBA season. He's been in the league almost six years. Has not been in the same system once. I'm afraid Alfred Payton's probably going to fall down the same path of getting knocked out of the league because not being in the same system and just not knowing if he fits in or not on a single team. Anyways, hope you guys did enjoy this video of the rise of, and fall of Lin Sanity, Jeremy Lin. Like always, oh, tomorrow's video, I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. It might come out a little later. I'm not really sure. I'm going to put a lot of hard work into editing that like I've done with all my videos. But this, that one specifically because I want to make sure I get amazing clips for you guys in tomorrow's video. Anyways, hope you guys do enjoy this. did enjoy this video. Please subscribe. Drop a thumbs up like always. Peace.